All right. Um, this is the last video I'm, sh I'm gonna go over today. I've already covered um, in my previous videos. I was dealing with weather um, overview and weather maps. Um, today I'm gonna be. Um, this last video is gonna be dealing primarily with fresh water. And um, let me go ahead and pull your. Um, let me go ahead and pull your pacing guide up. We see here uh, scientific reasoning and logic and fresh water. Let me go ahead and try to touch on both of these. In the next five, six minutes, and this will be the last video I'm going to go over today. Scientific logic, that's dealing with um, how, um, let me look over it real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, science explains, predicts the interactions and dynamics of complex earth systems. Um, analyze how natural processes can explain multiple aspects of earth systems and their interactions. Uh, make predictions using scientific data and analysis. And here we have area, constant, control, data, density, dependent variable, hypothesis, independent variable. All right. Well, science is based upon observation. It's kind of the question. Uh, that's the first step. You ask a question in the scientific method. And then you want to see if somebody else has actually um, asked that same question. So you, you research. <clears throat> that's the second step. The third step is you're going to form a hypothesis, an educated guess. Now, you can't have an educated guess until you've researched. That's why that's the third. And then you're going to run your tests after you make your hypothesis. And remember, a hypothesis is like a belief statement based upon your, re your research. So you, you run the test, and after the test, you're going to um, analyze the data. And when you analyze data, a lot of times you, you put it into graphs. Um, you know, scientists use graphs that mark out the independent and dependent variables or they or they do um, bar I mean I'm sorry pie graphs to show percentages and so forth. They want to represent their data. So um, that's the fifth step, analyze the data. And the last not the last step, but the sixth step is drawing a conclusion and then you share. You share your information with other people. So science is based upon observation and it has to do with something that has to be seen, touched, felt Something that can be dealt with with regards to the census. Um, all right, so the, in, the dependent variable here, that is what's being measured in an experiment. You don't have any control over that. And that's going to go on the y-axis of a line graph or a bar graph. And the independent variable would go on the x-axis, and that's what you have control over. Let me see if I can show you that in a picture so you guys can get a visual of it. So, um, of course, you can see what I'm seeing. So, um, independent and dependent variable. So, um, okay, that's not pulling up a, oh, yeah, right here. be good. Okay, well, that is, that's not a very good picture. It looks like here the price of apples, number of pounds, and the cost in dollars. So your independent variable is here on the x-axis, and your your dependent variable is here on the y-axis. It's not a really good example. Um, I like this right here. Indep independent variable uh, influences change in the dependent variable. So if I fool with the if I fool around with the independent variable. Uh, say, for example, I go on to a, uh, I'm doing a study on plant growth, and I want to see what type of plant grows best under what type of light. So I change the light type, the independent variable. That's going to have an impact upon the dependent variable, which is the plant growth. So I change this, which influences the dependent. Now, to see it, X, Y axis. The way I do is type in line graph example. Um, I'm sure I'm going to pull up 